The internet has officially made it possible for everyone to see what people have to offer. Gone are the days when you had to go to a freak show or a talent show to see a person's strange talent or skill. But I think in this back room here, he's actually installing the hardwood ah, floor. Very nice. So the internet has made the world a bit smaller in that way. We're all connected in this one giant community where we can give each other a round of applause while also being halfway around the world. And it feels good when you have a great skill that you want to show off and be appreciated for. So today we're going to help a group of people out because we're bringing you 15 ingenious construction workers with skills you have to see. Fifteen Concrete Curb Rollers Every day, there are people doing jobs that we kind of take for granted. We see the finished product of many things, but we don't often see the work that goes into it. For example, it might have been a storm out one day. You may have heard the wind blowing and the rain batting against the window, and then you got the mail. You don't often think about the fact that the mailman had to travel in that weather to bring you the mail. The same goes for a lot of street work. When you drive down the road and see the fixed pole holes or just how smooth everything is, you don't tend to think about all the work that went into it. Well, this happens to be the case with some concrete curb rollers. It's a skill that's going to blow your mind. Curb rollers are shaped concrete rollers that make challenging concrete pours a lot easier. They can be solutions that can be applied to applications, which is why they're 26 feet wide and 4 feet deep. They happen to be a very versatile tool for concrete workers to use to apply to many jobs that would be otherwise tremendously difficult. You can even find them on jobs that involve drainage systems, spillways, or any jobs that use concrete. You also won't find them in just one area. This tool and technique can be used all around the world. Let's just say there are a lot of jobs that want to have been able to pull off without this, and we're impressed. Wooden floor polishing. Like we said before, there are plenty of things that we tend to take for granted in life, and they're pretty amazing if you think about them. For example, how do highways get built? What about the bridge that we cross for work every day? If you traveled back in time and showed people pictures of the things that we have in our daily life, they would be absolutely stunned. But they're just normal to us. Even the polished wooden floors that we walk on aren't that amazing to us because we see them every day. But the truth of the matter is, the way that these floors get polished is a downright art, and we're going to tell you a story about it. So they recommend you do this around every two to four months. What happens is the floor polish fills scratches and protects the finish against furniture damage and overcleaning. Processes can take a few steps, and the professionals who handle this definitely make the job look easier than it is. If you see a contractor doing this type of work, you'll respect their work ethic. It almost makes you want to have some wood floors just to see people in action. Bricklaying Tournaments Now, of course, we've mentioned the things that we've taken for granted in life plenty of times on this list already. Now we turn our focus to the skills that we didn't know existed in the world. The interesting part about this is that it takes a skill that's used every single day that's considered pretty ordinarily, and then it's turned into a tournament. No, we're not talking about pizza making, we're talking about bricklaying. That's right, out there in the world there are bricklaying tournaments. This takes the whole expression, one brick at a time, to a whole different level. Let's move these bricks out of the way and get to looking at what it's all about. Some people refer to the Super Bowl of masonry. The answer is the question of who is the best bricklayer in the world. Back in 2020, it celebrated its 18th annual season, and the winner can receive a big chunk of change along with some other prizes. Somewhere it's even taking home cars and trucks. What happens is that there are 2,018 bricklayers in any battle for around 60 minutes to become the world champions. It's definitely not a competition that you're used to, but we would watch it if we had the time. It's nice to see hard workers get recognized. Faux marble walls. One thing that people marvel about that you can't really take for granted is that the old buildings that stand today which have survived for more than a century. They're just pieces of artwork at this point, and they don't make them the same. Even in a place like Manhattan, you can still see structures that have been there for a century. You see buildings that are made of things like marble that you won't be able to see get made today. Marble is a material that may not be used as much as it used to, but it's still amazing to see in structures of dates past. Even faux marble has a process that can't be duplicated easily. It's actually pretty impressive how they get it done. That's why it's this next one on our list. It's all done with Venetian plaster. This is an interior design business. 
what is specifically specialized in creating marble-like walls then of course use this type of plaster, they do this by using putty and multiple strokes at different angles. It's quite a technique that not many people can master. But these people sure do have a great business going. We might actually have them do some work for us. Countertop Epoxy Kits Alright, now we're going to have to go back to the things that we see in everyday life that we don't realize takes a lot of skill to make. We're going to give you some time to guess on this one because it's probably something that you have in your home right this moment. After all, there are plenty of things in your home that take a lot of skill to make and build. Building a home that just doesn't happen overnight. Let's get to the point. The thing that takes a lot of skill that you wouldn't believe in terms of how it gets made is countertops. Epoxy countertops to be exact. So what's this all about? Let us explain. There's one brand that pulls this off super well. They're called Counters and they're the original creators of the epoxy countertop kit. They design their kits to be the easiest to install on the market. What it does is transform any countertop with one of its countertop kits and they make it look like marble. It's an incredible feat that not many others in the field can pull off because marble is a hard aesthetic to copy. But these kits seem to almost work like magic kits. You can even make your countertops look like natural stone or concrete. These contractors are pretty amazing. Dermoplastic Road Marking we have to move on to a little bit more complex skills to talk about. You may see them while driving, or maybe just walking alongside the road. But we can guarantee you that most likely you don't know how it's made, and we'll tell you before even getting into it. It takes a whole lot of skill and a whole lot of complicated skill to get this next job done. Have you ever heard of thermoplastic road marking? Well, you have now, and we're about to tell you just how difficult it is to pull this one off. Let's say you're going to want to leave this one to the pros. Not that you'll want to learn it after learning about it anyway, you'll understand when we're done. It's pretty much the paint that you see every single day. It can also be called hot melt marking paint, and it's pretty much out of powder. When you apply it to a road surface, a hot melt kettle, it's then used to heat up to 200 degrees Celsius. That's pretty hot. It melts the powder, of course, after it's sprayed on the road surface. Once it's cooled, the paint forms a thick polymer layer. Now, when you see one of these on the street, you'll know exactly how they were made. We don't blame you if you never look at them the same again. Underwater Epoxy We already told you about the wonders that come along with the skill needed to create epoxy countertops. It goes to show you that the everyday things that we tend to take for granted actually have a lot of skill and detail that come along with it. Things just don't disappear. People don't just take one step or two steps to make the items that we use every day. Everything is a process. Everything takes years of learning to pull off. Well, now we're going to take it up a notch with some underwater epoxy. You heard us correctly, this stuff actually exists. And let us tell you, it's downright unbelievable. Once you hear about this stuff and how it's made, you might actually want to learn about it yourself. It's pretty cool when you see this stuff because it's epoxy that can work on the water, as the name implies. But it takes a special and skilled contract to pull this off. Just like putting hot glue on something, you have to have a steady hand. You have to have a skilled hand. And that's exactly what the people who apply this have. They're definitely a different breed of the contractor. And if you ever need this type of work done, you know who to call. It's pretty amazing to think that this stuff exists and can work on the water. But there you go, we wonder what they'll invent next. Thatching We wouldn't be a great channel if we didn't bring you things that you didn't know about. And we're talking about the super obscure things that you would have to go to an encyclopedia before the internet for. We love doing that because we're educating people and we're getting people excited at the same time. So now we're going to bring you to something that you definitely have never heard of and it's called thatching. It may be a funny word, but it's actually a very intense skill that not many people around the world know how to pull off. It may sound like it, but no, it has nothing to do with hatching eggs. Let's explain exactly what it is before you make any more assumptions. So let's get into it. Patching happens to be the craft of building a roof while using dry vegetation such as straw, water, sedge, rushes, you name it. What happens next is you layer the vegetation to shed the water away from the inner roof. This happens because the bulk of the vegetation stays dry while being densely packed. In turn, this traps some air. Thatching can also function as insulation. Now, of course, it doesn't just take anyone to build this type of thing. You have to know the necessary skills to pull this off because it's a delicate process. 
It's almost like building a house to protect yourself from the big bad wolf. You know how that story went. F1 Pit Stop Perfection Forget about the skills that go along with building things for a second. We know that our list thus far has centered around those types of skills, but now we move on to a different type of skill that blows people's minds from all sorts of different industries. It's not something that you'll see in your everyday life, and you're definitely lucky if you get to see it in person, because it has to do with an F1 Formula Racer. If those aren't cool enough, get to know the people that make it even cooler. We're talking about some pit stop perfection. This isn't a job that anyone can do. Believe us when we say that. So grab your racing gear and check this next one out. These guys are tasked with changing the tires of F1 racers mid-race. You've probably seen them at most car races. They perform this tire changing task with ease and perfection, and it requires all the intricate elements to work in perfect harmony as a team. Because cars arrive in the park in little over two seconds, this is just one of those skills on our list that tops the rest almost because if you see these people in action, you know they mean business and they have a lot of training when it came to this type of stuff. It almost makes you want to laugh at how long it takes to change a tire at a local mechanic when these guys can change it in a matter of seconds. Now that's a skill. Underfloor Heating if you haven't caught on by now, we've been going over things that we kind of take for granted and don't notice in life. So keeping with that trend, we move on to heating. Heating is just one of those things that, unless you're an engineer or someone who loves science, you're not really going to pay much attention to it. Unless, of course, you're cold. If you're cold, you're probably going to do what we all do and just go to the thermostat and raise the temperature a little bit. You probably won't stand there wondering how the heat comes on, but today, we're going to tell you all about how the heat does come out, but we're going to get a little specific and talk about how underfloor heating works. When you learn this fact, you'll probably want to learn all about how heating works in general. And we don't blame you, because it's pretty cool. Underfloor heating and cooling happen to be a form of central heating and cooling that makes sure the indoor climate control works flawlessly. The heating is achieved by conduction, radiation, and the use of convection. The interesting part about this is the underfloor heating into the new thing. It even dates back to the Neoglacier and Neolithic periods. Talk about art that's never been lost. If you're an installer of one of these underfloor heating systems, let's just say your job's going to be safe for a very long time given the fact that people have been using it for centuries. See, sometimes we have really good news for people. Plasterboard ceiling Sometimes there are things in life that just seem pretty mundane. You don't think twice about them because they just seem boring. It's like looking at cardboard. You don't necessarily wonder how they make it. Even paper has made people wonder over time how they make that. But we're here to tell you that just because something may look boring doesn't exactly mean that how it's made is boring. Sometimes there's a great level of skill involved when it comes to these types of things. And one of those things happens to be a plasterboard ceiling. Are you surprised by that? Guess what? We are too. But let's get into it because it's a lot more than what meets the eye with this material and the skill that's involved with making it. Now, there are plenty of steps to doing this, but it only takes a skilled contractor to pull it off correctly because you don't want the placement to be off. It can be a trickier placement than a wall, and this is all thanks to gravity. So this is why it takes a special contractor to do this. They know how to use the elements today. They first have to check the loft, strip the boards, use a stud finder, cut the boards, position the board's corners, and do a few other steps. It's not something that you can just YouTube and learn in a day. Although we love YouTube, you might want to hire a skilled contractor for this job. 3D Concrete Printing Back in the day, printing only surrounded things like books, maybe even newspapers. When you would think of the word printing, that's what would usually come to mind first. Of course, there were exceptions like t-shirt printing and other types of printing, but it was predominantly books and papers that would be synonymous with the word. Nowadays, there are all sorts of different types of printing. One of the newest ones happens to be 3D printing. But have you ever heard of concrete 3D printing? Well, now you have. And we're about to take you on an in-depth trip on what this one's all about. Let's just say it makes concrete a lot more interesting, and you definitely won't be taking it for granted. So to sum this up, 3D concrete printing is exactly what you think it is, and it's transforming construction sites worldwide. People are even trying to build homes using it. 
Now the technology is far from perfect, but it's the first step to showing people that you can take a real 3D printer and turn it into something gigantic where it can build giant structures made of concrete. This is where the future is going and it's pretty exciting. Radiant Floor Heating Systems Did you happen to like our underfloor heating section of this video? Well, guess what? You're in luck because underfloor heating is the only skill that's pretty interesting out there. There's actually another skill that leads people breathless when they watch it being done. And it has to do with radiant floor heating systems. It's a mouthful and you probably haven't heard anything about this before. But that's where we come into play. We want to inform you of just how crazy this next one really is when you think about it. It's definitely not something that you can learn overnight, nor do we recommend you try that. But let's learn all about it. These hydronic systems are one of the most popular and cost-effective radiant heating systems for where heating is needed. What these systems do is pump heated water from a boiler through a tubing system under the floor. In some of these systems, controlling the flow of hot water regulates room temperatures. Of course, the cost of these systems varies by location, but they're still widely popular. Bioclimatic Pergola Installations if you thought that the last one was a mouthful, we're going to top it with this next one. Have you ever heard of bioclimatic pergola installations? Should we ask that one again? Our money says that you probably haven't heard about this one, but it's still mesmerizing when you learn about it. There are just some things in the world that seem impossible when you hear about how they're done. They sound like something straight out of a book, but the truth of the matter is, this is just one of those skills that takes mastery. It takes years to learn. And so today, we're going to learn about what it takes to get this technique down perfectly, or at least near perfectly. Think of these as fancy patios. It allows you to enjoy the outdoors all year, despite what the weather may be. It can protect you from the sun, rain, wind, and even snow. It's a natural way to regulate the temperature and light of the area beneath it. It's an incredible invention that allows you to be outside even though the world is going crazy around you. To us, it's the work of science fiction, but it's come to life. Can you imagine if they put one of these in the stadium? There'll never be a rain delay again. And that's pretty cool. Kbex Hydroflex. And last but not least, number one on our list sounds like something a Power Ranger would do. It's called the Kbex Hydroflex, and it's pretty out of this world. It honestly seems like something that should be done on a different planet altogether. But when you really dissect and learn about what this is, you don't understand how it's done. It will make it any easier to pull off, but you'll still grasp the nuts and bolts of it all. So let's get into it. This is a material that binds other materials together. It's pretty revolutionary and what it can do. If you need something fixed in terms of a big piece of your property, you might want to look towards this product and take it a lot of skills to apply it. If you need something fixed in terms of a big piece of your property, you might want to look towards this product and it takes a lot of skill to apply it. So call the right contractors and you'll be amazed at what can be pulled off with just one element. It's kind of like Flex Seal, but on a whole different level. If this list proves anything, it's that there are some pretty skilled people out there that do very difficult jobs that we're lucky we don't have to do. Until next time, we'll be here to bring you all the awesome things that people around the world are doing every single day to make our lives just a little bit easier. And hey, maybe one day you'll be working in one of these jobs. Come back and let us know in the comments if that happens.